Hey friends, welcome back to another Godot 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be going into the import process for 3D assets, and I'm going to show you where you can find some free 3D assets right now. Let's not waste any time. Up on the screen I have a test project that's going to be available alongside all the free assets shown today. You can see I have created a playground scene. This scene just provides a little world environment in a 3D space. And I've also created a player scene as well so that there's some basic control to navigate around this 3D space in. I'll hit the play button and we can see that using the mouse and the keyboard I can rotate uh, my view as well as move around this 3D space. Very simple, very rudimentary, but it gets the job done. Let's close out of this. And we're back here, we can see all of our file system. I'm going to show off three different asset packs today, one of which is completely free, the others you can find on a store that I'm going to tell you about at the end of this video. Here we're going to take a look at the Storage A asset pack. Now this is a pack of about 16 GLB files, which is basically a 3D asset with uh, materials baked in. In Godot 4, it's extremely simple. With GLBs, you can just click, drag, and place into a 3D scene. If you're paying attention to the scene tree, you can see that J and F barrel A has been added. We can click on that and see some basic transformation information in the inspector to the right. And if we right click and then go down to editable children, now we can see that we have the mesh instance 3D that's already baked into this parent scene. Here we can see the mesh. We can take a look at the surface, take a look at the material and the material name. Override geometry, make all kinds of transformations to illumination and visibility range. And we can change the uh, visual instance 3D layer as well. Great, so now that this barrel is in our scene, what do we do with it? Well, let's hit play and I can show you that, look, there it is. But, oh no, we can walk right through it. That's not what we want, right? Theoretically, we want to be able to prototype and just place these 3D assets straight into our scene and collide with them. So let's go back to our file system. We go to barrel A.glb. You can double click on this or alternatively, you can right click on it and click open scene. From here, you can do a bunch of important tasks based around uh, the Im advanced import settings. You can change your root type. So if theoretically you want this to be a, let's just say a rigid body 3D, you can change that right here. And then whenever you re-import these, these will be imported with a root a parent type of rigid body 3D. I'm gonna just select node 3D for this tutorial, but I would suggest basing this off of the needs for your game. There are a bunch of other options here. If you have animations in your nodes and your assets, you can change the FPS, trimming, all that kind of jazz. You can also choose to extract the materials if you want to save them and use them in other assets. And you can even set the mesh save paths to save your meshes locally in your project to be able to use them and modify them within the Godot editor itself. Now to get some collision data already built in, Anyone who's messed around in Godot for a while knows that it can be tedious to set up collision objects for every single asset that you want to import. Well, thankfully, Godot 4 has a great tool for this. If you go down to the mesh instance within this advanced import settings window, go to generate and then physics, click that to on, and now you can see what kind of body type you want it to be. If you want it to just be a static, a dynamic, or an area, we'll leave it to static in this case. And you can see that there's generated a bunch of polygons. Now this is going to literally generate a collision shape for us. You can change what layer, what collision mask you want, and the shape type. I'm, I'm gonna keep this to decompose convex and basically it'll just trace over the mesh itself. But we can of course make it a box if we want to just broadly make a large collision, a sphere, simple convex, which wraps around the entire mesh again. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a decompose because that's fewer polygons than in the simple convex. It's as simple as that. You can add a physics material if you want to add some kind of friction or, you know, bounciness, but I'm gonna hit re-import. 
And now in any scene that this barrel A is in, a collision shape is now added. So we'll hit play again, find our barrel, walk right into it, and we are colliding with it. Not able to move through, and of course if you want to modify this, you can do it within the barrel scene itself. To show you that, if you click on the scene button on the barrel A in your parent scene, click on new inherited or open anyway, uh, it, there is a little bit of discussion in the community which one's better to do. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to choose new inherited, and this is going to essentially create a new scene that we can edit, that we can add more children to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'll save it just to the root folder, hit save, and now we have a scene for this as well. So we can drag and drop this, whatever scene we want it to be in. So really, it's that simple. This is a very quick and easy way to import GLB files straight into your scenes. You can modify their sizes very easily, change their transforms, rotate them around any axis. You can move them around. And honestly, I really like using pre-made assets for prototyping. In these packs that I have in this project, I also have several lamps assets that emit light. These all have lights baked into them using materials and shaders. We can go ahead and edit the children here and see that this lamp is emitting light. And we can even move our barrel to have light be emitted onto it. This is a very easy way to prototype and also these assets, lucky for everyone including myself watching this video, some of these assets are completely free. Where do you find them? Well, I am happy to introduce the Jacqueline Fox store. This is a website and a company that I started about a year ago with the artists that are actually working with me on Verdancy Vale. We decided that we wanted to kind of help developers like myself who either don't have the time or the skill to make assets themselves for their games or, you know, to hire expensive artists. We wanted to make assets for them that are affordable and high quality that they can not only work with on a day-to-day -day basis but also release in their game and use in commerce. You can go to JacquelineFox.com to check out all these packs. We release a new pack of around 15 to 20 assets every week and we regularly release free packs including the Storage A pack that I've demoed today. There are a bunch of barrels, there are chests, buckets, all kinds of things to work with and you can download it right now and put them into your game and start filling up your worlds. We also have a Patreon that you're welcome to join. This is a way to get some of our asset packs included as well as join the discourse with us. And finally, we do have a Discord server that's up right now. You can join it, discuss game development, video games, uh, world building, and whatever other nerdy stuff you guys can come up with. If you're looking to join a nice, safe community to hang out and talk about creative things together, go ahead and click the link in the description below. We'd love to meet you and bounce ideas off of each other. I hope this video has been helpful for everyone who's watched it. Obviously, we don't go into extreme detail in this video. This is just a basics of importing. But in the future, I'd love to hear what kinds of videos you'd like me to make on this topic as I start broaching into the 3D space. So let me know if there are any more advanced importing topics, if you want to look into import scripts or how to make things more mutable or even just importing blend files as they are because Godot 4 can do that. That's about all I have for you today. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Feel free to click on the links in the description below to check out the Jacqueline Fox store. I hope that you find our assets extremely helpful and useful. And if you have any comments about them, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And also join our Discord. We'd love to talk to you and hang out with you and talk about game development and world building with you. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day.